Hey, all my beautiful people out there, hope you guys are having an amazing day today. It's your boy Clark here, and I'm back in North York at Flip Kitchens. And we're checking out a spot today that's got more buns than a Sir Mix-a-Lot video. So come along and join me. It's time to get food. Located at the base of a high-rise complex on Young Street between Shepherd and Finch is Flip Kitchens Food Hall. Once you head inside, take a quick duck to the right. This will lead us to the spot that we're going to be featuring in our video today, the Bun House. You might remember that I was here not long ago featuring another spot. And while I was here on that visit, I got to meet Branko, who is the creator and owner operator behind Bun House. He showed me his buns and invited me back to try this creative dish. And you know me, I'm always up for trying something tasty. Okay, we have various different flavors going on here. Right here, pizza buns. The one with the nori, we call the musu bun, which is a deep fried spam. Chimney dogs, Hungarian style. Butter chicken with the black sesame on top. Cheeseburger with the white sesame. Big one here, bun royale. And these guys here are our traditional bun with sauerkraut. Oh man, it all looks so amazing. I think what we'll do is let's go with the uh, the musu bun, I think you call that one. Uh, definitely got to do that traditional, the Hungarian one, right? You got to do, uh, that, that's the chimney, chimney dog. dog. The last one was, you said the bun royale, right? The bun royale, right. hot fresh out the oven and we're about to package them up for you guys so let me show you how that's done we'll start here with the chimney dog the buns work great if you want to have it on the spot at the food hall you can do that or it's great for an item to eat on the go you can even take them unheated and then you can serve them at a later time a loyalty card so three buns today three stamps And if you get seven, you get a free bun. Look at this stuff, it is so awesome. I wish YouTube had like a scratch and sniff type feature or something like that because these smell great. And check it out, I'm here with Branko. Branko from Bun House, owner operator, make these delicious stuffed buns. They're Eastern European in their style, but I've given it my own unique kind of an innovative twist. You could say a little more familiarity, a little more North American looking. Oh, this looks so amazing. I, I don't even know where to start, but uh, how about we go with this one over here? Tell me a little bit more about this one. That's the Bun Royale. This is our biggest, this is the showstopper. So what it is, is this is a double bacon cheeseburger baked fully into our homemade bun dough. It has slow cooked beef with some onions and then we put uh, lots of cheddar cheese, pickles, bacon. It's all layered throughout, baked together and emulates a cheeseburger perfectly. Yeah, I mean, I'm just having a look at it. You can see all the individual parts right there, but it's just, I love how it's encased in this nice bun. You can see that it's nice and it's all golden brown here on the top. I like the sesame seeds. Ah, your classic burger, but in a totally different form factor. And I think what's great about these is that these are totally like something you can take on the go. Right? And hell, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Perfect on the go. And that's kind of why I made the concept originally is for folks who needed to have or wanted to have a meal, a snack on the go. From point A to point B, from the subway station to home, something to have that won't be messy, that you can carry and just right. eat handheld. I gotta take a bite. Mmm. You see in there the pickles, you got the cheese in there. Mmm. Oh man, the ground beef, so much flavor. Are there onions in that ground beef? There's onions in the ground beef. So <laughs> onions are slow cooked into the ground beef. They melt into it, so you can't see them, but they're there, yeah. That onion just adds a little bit of that natural sweetness balances off with like you know that little bit of saltiness that's in there oh it's so well seasoned oh man happy to hear that and then you get this nice bun here 
The inside's soft and fluffy. The outside gives just, just a little bit of that crispness. Mm. And it's not soggy. You know, we've been sitting here talking about them for quite no, a well, bit. That's, so that, yeah. And they didn't get... Um, no, no, it, it, it'll hold for a very long time. I have this concept of the Eastern European piroshki. Mm -hmm. And I've taken and I've really made it my own. And the cheeseburger, the pizza bun, the urban cheese bun, and the traditional were the original flavors. That's what I had for a very long time. And then I started expanding it, and I started making the chimney dog. And I started making the butter chicken bun. And now we're here. Now there's a musu bun with spam, and there's gochujang in there, and it's fried crispy with panko, a little bit of nori. So basically what I've been doing is I'm using this concept as just kind of like a canvas for myself to mm -hmm. experiment with things and try different flavors and kind of see where I can take it. This is going to be really unique with the bun instead of the rice. But look, they've got the nori, they've got that breaded piece of spam in there. Oh man, this is going to be great, I think. <laughs> oh man, you guys know that fusion food puts a smile on my- I'm only talking with my mouth open, I'm, I'm with my mouth full, but... Man, this does it to me, man. <laughs> Something very different, but yeah. familiar. You did musubi, so it's not far off, but again, maybe it is. It's Yeah, but like you said, the the carp portion, the rice I replaced with our dough. Right, and right, there right. you have it. And I put a little gochujang, a little spicy barbecue. Yes, I was going to say. Kind of, yeah. um, it's mainly to kind of cut through the salt and the carb content to give you a bit of a, a third layer. No, this is unique. I love it. The flavors. For me, it's just spicy enough and just salty enough to get you to want to go in for a bite and another bite and another bite and another bite. As you're eating it, you're tasting one thing and then when it hits other parts of your tongue or other parts mm. of your palate, you're getting a different vibe as well, all in just the one bun, right? Now, don't take that to mean that you shouldn't try everything. I mean, you should work your way through the menu. You gotta try all of them. Right, you gotta That's try all of them. they're all there for. They're all very distinctly unique, but quite similar. So. All right, it's an absolute, each bite for me has been an absolute flavor train. We have room for one more? Yeah, definitely got room for another one, right? I'm a, I'm a maker, I'm a maker. Okay, all right, we got the chimney dog here. So this guy, smoked Hungarian sausage, which has a little bit of, it's a pork sausage, with a bit of gar garlic, a little paprika in there, and then the dough coiled this time on the outside. Got everything bagel seasoning baked on top and spicy Dijon mayo to the side. Our take on uh, Hungarian chimneys. I don't know if you've ever had these before, by the way, the Hungarian chimneys. This is my take on that, the yep. savory version. All right, let's give this one a try. I love it, that um, the dough again, like the other buns, still warm, still fresh. I mean, it's we've been working our way in this third one and it's still retaining that warmth in there. I love that. A little crispy on the outside. You get those seeds, just adds a little bit of like nuttiness to the flavor. And then that sausage in there. There's no way I'm not gonna talk about the sausage, right? Once you bite into it, you get the snap from the casing. You get the snap from the casing, So there's, right. your, there's your flavor, there's your texture. Oh man, the meat is juicy. Oh, wow. And, and you said that the dip's good. I, I gotta dip's try good. it with the dip, right? So this one is a Dijon, you were saying? It's a Dijon with a habanero, and then it's made into a mayo. Nice. So it's got a little kick, a little more kick than the musu bun we had, but... That takes it to the next level, right? That's... It just gives it that creaminess. It's all there. It's all there for you guys. I want to say a huge thank you. Thanks for coming by. Thanks it's for trying. It's so awesome. Thanks for, uh, thanks for inviting me to come over and You're to check it out. Time. Oh man, this was great. All right, you guys, what did you think? Weren't those the most awesome buns you've ever seen? Oh man, the Bun House, they're great. So is Branko. I want to say a huge thanks to him for inviting us down here to check out all of his amazing food. Big thanks to you guys as well for watching this video. As always, if you guys enjoyed it, help me out, give it a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon. That way you won't miss my food adventures. 
All right, we're wrapping things up, but don't worry, there's lots more great food adventures to come. So you guys get out there, get something tasty to eat, and I will catch you all next time when I get food.